Can Derby make it six league wins in a row and eight unbeaten in the league? Today, we're going to find out. In just a few hours' time, I'm going to be heading to Pride Park Stadium to watch Derby County versus Wickham Wanderers. Obviously, I hope that Derby come away from this game with another win as they can head into the top two with a win. Bolton just three points ahead of them now. So, obviously, Derby have been in some excellent form, as I mentioned in my previous video talking about the Wickham Wanderers preview. Today, we'll see the return of Richard Keogh for I think it's the third time now coming back to Pride Park. Be interesting to see what reception he gets again at Pride Park Stadium. Let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments. Obviously, you'll know the result, but I'm going to make my prediction now. I think Derby are going to win 2 1. I think Nathaniel Mendes Lang will score, and I think John Jules will come off the bench to score. Hopefully, we might see a return of Liam Thompson in the squad, although Paul Warren said that is unlikely. But let's see if Derby can get another good result heading into the game against Lincoln next week. Very important set of fixtures coming up now. And if you check out my festive predictions, which I'll link at the end of this video, then see if I got the first one right. So I'll catch you after the game. Before we get into talking about the game, I just want to say thank you for your support on recent videos. Please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It is free. And obviously, I'm aiming for 40 subscribers before the 1st of January. I think we're on 38 now. So it'd mean the absolute world if you could click that subscribe button and get me to 40 or even over it by the 1st of January. And thank you again for your support. 
late drama for Wickham Wanderers as a penalty was given right as a final kick of the game for a challenge from Joe Ward. Penalty wise, from where I was sitting, it looked like he dived, it looked like he literally paid the referee for it really absolutely terrible decision from my viewpoint the replay I don't really think it says any different understandably Joe Ward's behind the man but I don't think there's any contact unless there's a different angle I haven't seen I don't see any contact from Ward and the player and it's just a bitter pill to swallow results other places have gone our way we could have had ourselves two points behind second with a game in hand. Obviously, we play on Thursday. The only positive we can really take out of that is that we're still unbeaten. I think it's seven unbeaten now in the league. And we've got to go into Lincoln on Tuesday and we've got to win that game. For me now, that is a must win. We have to win that game because we've got to put some pressure on them for, on them teams in front of us. Yes, we're still sitting in sixth, but we could quite easily have been fifth or fourth after the results today. And that's something that we've got to move on from quite quickly. We can't we can't dwell on it, but we've got to move on from it. We've got to acknowledge it. And again, it's another opportunity where Derby failed to take advantage. Heading into Lincoln, I think a few changes have to be made. I think Fauna has got to come back into the starting lineup. At I just can't quite get along with Hurahan at the minute. I thought he was good against Leighton Orient, but when you're playing against 10 men and you've got that extra midfielder, that's always going to happen, isn't it? So it's one of them where, yes, he played well in that game, but he should have. He's one of them players that if he can get on the ball, he's brilliant. But I think he needs to be replaced on Thursday. I think as a captain, I don't think he will. I don't think Warren will replace him, but that's just what I do. I do move him out like move him out the side for Thursday give him a bit of a breather because he took a few heavy touches today and for me he could have been sent off really really early he made a challenge about two or three minutes in and really got away with one for me he should have been sent off I also think maybe it's time for John Jules to step into the starting 11 obviously I don't know what his fitness levels are like he's obviously not started a game for a really really long time but for me I don't, Collins didn't offer a lot today and I know he didn't really get the service but there was loads of crosses, obviously not the best crosses but there was loads of crosses. I just don't think Collins offers us anything in these games where you've got teams sitting in. I think you need that extra bit of pace and power and technical ability that John Jules will offer in comparison to Collins. Obviously I have to mention Mendes Lang again, I thought it was brilliant in spells I don't think it was his best game of the season but certainly wasn't his worst obviously massively influential in creating Tom Barkazin's goal hopefully that can now spring him onto a run that's something we've been missing from whoever's on the other wing compared to Mendes Lang we just don't seem to have an outlet on that side I don't think Kane Wilson's had many involvements this season Barkazin's only got a few but he always scores like today was probably one of the first games where he scored, where he's been the only one that scored. He normally scores when we're having a good good, good run of it. Like at Blackpool, he scored late on. Late in Orient, he scored late on. So I don't know what you think, but let me know down in the comments what you thought about that game. I thought the referee was quite poor. I think on the radio they were talking about got all the big decisions right, but for me, I don't think she did. For, for one, I think Hurahan should have been sent off. I think... Vokes, I think it's Sam Vokes there, number nine, was very lucky to still be on the pitch late on in the game. He went to clear the ball and booted Nelson in the face. Now, so that, they're always 50 50s, but for me, if your foot's that high and you connect, for me, that's dangerous play. You should be gone. But obviously, late drama, the penalty. I've obviously mentioned I don't think it was a penalty from where I was. I think the player dived. The replay I've seen, I think the player dived. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought about the referee because for me, just wasn't she just wasn't it. And obviously, she's moving up to the Premier League. She's just had one final stinker before she gets that Premier League game. Obviously, wish her all the best. Hope we can do all right. Don't really care, to be honest. I thought Keo late after the goal, was actually quite respectfully apologised to the fans in the corner for the celebrations. But obviously, you can't really blame Wickham for celebrating. 
Like, it, they got what they set out. They went away with a point. So, yeah. But I respect Keo for that. He didn't have to. He could have fucking celebrated with him, really, couldn't he? So, but yeah, I'll be back in a few days with a preview of Lincoln City for Thursday night. Obviously, another match day vlog will come out for that on Friday. So, keep your eyes peeled. It's going to be an interesting, interesting period. Derby, seven unbeaten heading into that game. Let's see what Derby can do on Thursday. I hope to see you in my next video. So, bye-bye. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.